Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to style flats. Before we get into this video, if you're new here, welcome to Park Avenue. I do fashion inspiration videos, unboxing, styling, outfit idea videos all the time. So if that's the kind of content you wanna see, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any uploads. And for those of you who are new here as well, you might not know, you can shop my closet sale. Some of you even leave me comments asking how to shop the closet sale, and you can do it straight from my website. So check the description box, it's gonna be a link in there that are gonna, that's gonna take you straight to my website where you can shop my closet sale. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I got some requests on how to style flats. So I decided I'm gonna pick my most worn flats and put together some outfits that you're gonna be able to dress up for work or dress down casually for the weekend. Now let's get started. So here's the first look. I am gonna tell you guys the brands and everything, all the details about these outfits, but I want you guys to keep in mind that it's more about the silhouette and the shapes that I'm using to create these looks, because you can do the same outfit with anything you already have in your closet. Any pencil skirt, any wrap top, or simply just like a, a short sleeve turtleneck or something like that. You don't have to go with exactly what I'm showing you. So this first look features this wrap top that I got from Nordstrom. It's by the brand Aster, A-S-T-R. I actually really love that brand a lot. They have some great pieces. This skirt is a pencil skirt that I got from Zara. And then the flats I'm wearing with this look are these black patent leather loafers from Sam Edelman. Now I chose these loafers with this look because these loafers are patent leather. They're not just a flat, black leather. I love the patent leather because it adds a little bit more shine to the outfit and it keeps it really interesting. You can wear these and treat these the same way you would treat a regular leather pair of loafers or a regular leather pair of flats. It's just a little bit more interest. So this first look I would definitely wear to work. I think it's super cute and I'd be very comfortable because I have on the flats. I threw on this caramel colored biker jacket and then a black patent bag. And then I'm using my Louis Vuitton strap just because it has the brown and I like the brown and black mix. So don't be afraid to mix your black and brown. It looks really great together. And also it keeps the outfit interesting, you know? But you can go with a basic black jacket and a basic black bag and not worry about it. You'll still look great, I promise. But this is just a way to add a little bit more color if you want to change up your look a little bit. Now, you could also throw on a pair of heels with this look. If you're someone watching this video and you feel like hip flats are not your thing and you would just rather a heel with your outfits for work or for the weekend or whatever the occasion is for you, then feel free to add your favorite pair of heels with this. A pair of boots would look great. I've worn this skirt with a pair of lace-up boots with a high heel and it looks perfect. You can throw in some tights or you can just throw on a flat riding boot if you felt more comfortable with that too. You really have a lot of options here, so don't feel like you have to be pigeonholed to like what I'm showing you right here. Just use it as an idea and take it and run with it for yourselves. And this outfit is a mashup of high and low as well. Like you see here, I have my Louis Vuitton strap, but if you guys watch my outfits of the week videos, then you know that I mix high and low all the time and that this bag in particular is from Marshalls. It was under 100 bucks and then I'm pairing it with my Louis Vuitton strap. So it elevates the item. This jacket is from Michael Kors. It is very old, I've had it for years, but if you decide you wanna invest in a really great leather jacket, you would have it for years as well. Or if you just want to be able to change up your style and you don't wanna make that investment, you can go to Marshalls and still get Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Nordstrom Rack and still get a decent quality leather jacket. And sometimes you might even get an extremely great quality leather jacket at a really affordable price. So you're just gonna have to do a little bit more searching. So here's the next look. For this look, I kept on the same flats and I wore the same bag, but I threw on a white um, rib knit that I got from H&M. These jeans are girlfriend jeans from The Gap. And then this cardigan is from Topshop, but I got it from Nordstrom. So now you can see with this outfit that I am wearing the same flats and bag, so I'm gonna be able to get the most out of these items throughout my work week. But you can also wear this outfit on the weekends, maybe to a brunch or a lunch or if you're running errands, if you feel comfortable wearing all white while you're running errands. Just depending on your lifestyle, this could work in a lot of ways. Here's the next look. Now for this look, I would definitely wear this to work. 
I changed out the jeans that I had on. I kept the same top, but I changed out the jeans that I had on and I put on a pair of slacks just for a more elevated, dressed up look. So I paired this blazer. Now this blazer I actually thrifted from my mom's storage. A lot of you may know, but a lot of you might not know that I rated her storage and I found some really great pieces. So this is one of them. So like I said, I kept on this same top from H&M. These are also trousers from H&M. And then my flats that I'm wearing for this outfit are also Sam Edelman, the same, as, the same brand as a lot of the flats I'm gonna show you. But this time they're in a gold metallic. Now if silver is more of your speed, or pewter or any other metallic then go for it metallics are definitely neutrals you don't have to worry about not knowing what to pair them with treat them like any brown or caramel or any neutral shade you would wear a metallic goes with everything and anything then I also paired it with my monogram pochette Matisse because I just think it's a perfect classic bag I love the way it pairs with this outfit it looks really sophisticated and I would and it's perfect for work so I would wear it for work now if you are somebody who shies away from wearing all white or you don't feel comfortable wearing white bottoms you can switch it out for a pair of solid color jeans like a pair of blue jeans or you can do um, maybe like all browns underneath you can switch it out the color you don't have to wear all white but I do feel like this is a very polished very sophisticated look Now this next look is perfect for everyday casual running errands, the weekends, running around, very comfortable and super cute. So I'm wearing this long sleeve knit black top from Banana Republic. These olive colored joggers are from Gap. And then my shoes, these gold loafers, the same ones from the last outfit are by Sam Edelman. Now I decided to keep on these same loafers because I do love the combination of olive with gold. I think it looks really nice. And then in general, this is just an easy way to spruce up your looks. A metallic, like I said before, goes with everything. And then I'm just wearing a neutral bag with it. And because this is a casual weekend outfit, I would just throw on my crossbody bag so I could be hands-free and get everything done. And because we're still in the colder months, I would throw on my camel coat because this is my easiest coat that goes with everything. I don't have to think and I know it's gonna work. These are actually really great transition outfits as well. I know a lot of you ladies do live in warmer climates, so I do have videos for the spring and summer coming up, but right now, um, if you can just squeeze in some of these looks in, and make them fit into what you can wear, I'm sure you guys are creative enough to make that work. But what do you guys think of this look? So this next look is perfect for a casual scenario, but depending on your work situation, you might be able to make this work. Um, maybe just switch out the legging for a pair of trousers to get the same effect. Now this print, this check print is on trend, so you can probably find this check print in a trouser that's more appropriate for work. So if you can, then go for it. But this top is by the brand JOA. I think I might have got it from TJ Maxx. I'm honestly not sure because it is so old at this point, but I really love this sweater not a lot because it's so cozy and I like the length of the turtleneck. And then it's beautiful, this beautiful shade of blue for the sweater looks really nice with the black and white check print on the leggings. And then these leggings are from Topshop that I got from Nordstrom quite some time ago. And then my loafers again are Sam Edelman and I got them in this beautiful white color. Now white, you should not be afraid of white shoes because they go with everything. These days, you don't have to wait for a certain time to pass or after Labor Day, before Labor Day. Like, those rules don't exist anymore. So get yourself a pair of white loafers and I promise you're going to wear them to, de to death. Because that's exactly what I do with these. I don't wear them when it's raining or the weather's really bad. But all through the spring and summer and into in the winter, I wear these a lot. So they're perfect. And again, treat them like a neutral and you can't go wrong. So for a bag, I just paired it with this black bag. This is my puffer bag from Saint Laurent, but you can pair it with whatever is your favorite black bag to wear, and then you got yourself a cute look. And for a coat option, I threw on this sweater coat that I got from Marshalls, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was Marshalls, and I got it a long time ago, but it's by the brand Tahari, and it was like 50 bucks, so it was a really great deal because Tahari makes really great quality clothing. I love this one and it is slightly oversized but you can't tell because when I have on a sweater it fits me perfectly so getting something a little bit oversized just gives me a little extra room so I can fit my sweaters underneath 
so I love that. And I love the contrast between, this is more of a robin's egg blue, the coat, and then the sweater is more of like a powder blue, but it's perfect combination together. So you can play with colors too, you guys. Like I know I told you guys to stick to these silhouettes, silhouettes and these shapes, but you can also get inspired by the color combinations. It's a really great way to keep your outfits interesting, especially if you're somebody who isn't really comfortable wearing flats because you just feel like a heel would just make the look even better. You don't have to feel like that. You can make really cute, really statement outfits with flats and look just as good if you had a pair of heels on. And before we get to the next outfit, I wanted to thank you guys for leaving all your questions in the comments. I told you guys in my last video, I think it was, that I'm interested in doing a Q&A because I do get some of the same questions over and over. So I feel like if I could just like compile everything and put it in a video, it will help you guys out. It will also help you get to know a little bit more about me. You can ask me questions you've been thinking about asking me while you're watching my videos. Leave them all in the comments and I will round them all up and put them in a video. Now for this next look, it's very simple, but it's still perfect for work, like maybe a Friday dress down look, or if you're somebody who likes to dress a little bit more sophisticated on the weekend. Now this is just a basic long sleeve knit from Banana Republic. This camel color is perfect for most outfits. You'll be able to wear this a long way. Like you can wear it with so many different looks. Camel is a great neutral that goes with everything. So just think about that when next time you're shopping for your sweaters. And even in the summertime, I know that it's like air conditioned in a lot of places. If you're like me and you're cold, this isn't a heavy knit. This is maybe like a thin knit, maybe a mid-weight knit. So you can throw this in your bag and then just pull it over your head if you have a tank top on. So these pieces could take you through, through the summer. Then for our pants, I'm wearing my rag and bone jeans. They have a cropped flare, which is really cute and still really on trend. And then I'm wearing the white loafers with this look as well. And then I paired my black toy Lulu just to keep with the black and gray tones. And then I'm gonna throw on this biker jacket that's all blacked out. I love the combination for the colors in this look. Now this next look I love because I just love all black looks, but I have a pop of an interesting uh, print with these flats. These are the really one of the only flats, like true flats that I have, but I love these a lot because they have a pointy toe, which is very flattering, especially for us curvy girls who are not super tall. It's great to create those long lines. And obviously you're gonna create that um, really nice slim silhouette with an all black outfit, and then you just keep it interesting with a pointy toe flat. Now this black faux leather top is from Zara. These black high-waisted trousers are also from Zara, but they're more recent. So I can link these in the description. And then my flats, they're from J. Crew. This bag, again, is my Marshalls bag. It's patent leather. This bag goes with so many things. So even though it wasn't pricey, it was a great investment. And it's a quality piece. Now this outfit I would totally wear to work. It's perfect for work. If you're someone who wants to dress up on the weekend, then this is a great outfit for that as well. But for me, this is a perfect work outfit. And then for a coat option, I just throw on my camel coat. Works great with this outfit as well. I love mixing brown and black. And a camel coat, you can't go wrong, it's a no brainer. Here's the last look I have for you guys, a denim on denim look, or a Canadian tuxedo, I've heard it called. But these are my favorite, I love denim on denim. I just think they look so cute. It's really comfortable, but they just never go out of style. I love a denim on denim look. I actually got a request for a denim on denim um, outfits video, so I'm still putting something together for that, but here's one that I would definitely wear. Like, I love this outfit. So for this look, I'm wearing this mustard color, J. Crew blazer that I got from Nordstrom. This denim shirt I actually got from Target. It's by the brand Universal Thread. My jeans, they're from Zara. 
Now, if these jeans are too distressed for you to wear to work, you can throw on a different pair with less or no distressing at all. You can do a pair of slacks with this as well. You don't have to do denim on denim. But it's a great um, casual Friday look for work. But you still look really put together. And then I have on this belt from J. Crew that matches my flats from J. Crew. And then I'm wearing my black patent leather bag. This is just a really great outfit, you guys. I don't have too much to say about it. The denim on denim just does keep a long line. And then you're adding pops of interest with the leopard and the mustard blazer. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite or which few were your favorite. Are you a flats girl? Are you a heels girl? Do you like to change out in the middle of the day? Do you carry your flats in your bag? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs down, but make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know why. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <clears throat> oh. And before I go, I just wanted to let you guys know about my Facebook group. Those of you who are new here might not know. It's a great place to get more outfit inspiration. It's a safe place where you can post your photos and get feedback from other members of the group. It's a really beautiful community, really. I mean, I love the support that so far I've seen in the group and obviously I just want the group to grow. And you can make connections there with other people. A lot of the people in the group are from similar cities or have similar jobs or similar life situations. So you never know who you're gonna meet there. So if you're interested, check the description box. I'll have the link there. And if you do join the group, don't be shy about posting your photos. Don't be shy about asking questions, asking about feedback, um, wanting to know what we think about your outfit or replying to other people's posts. Don't be shy to make your own posts and make your own connections. That's what the group is for. So I'll see you guys in the next video or I might see you before then in the Facebook group. Bye. And before I go, if you haven't already joined my Facebook group. <laughs> so you guys, what kind of pants does Mario wear? Let me know in the comments if you can guess before I tell you. Okay, you can't guess, I'll tell you. Denim, 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 Get it? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.